So those are our top three weaknesses. Development, perception, management. Leadership, right. Three of those were the same handwriting, though. That, uh, all right. Okay, what's uh, next for weaknesses? Number four. The fourth item was a, a tie for th with three votes, water and sewage issues. In 2018, that's what's so sad. People don't have water and sewage. Yet. You said two or three votes. Three votes. Your dad paid all that money. What is, what's what's weak about water and sewer? Water and sewage issues are out. Not all places have water. I don't know. Yeah. Areas don't need water and sewage. So basically, lack of availability. Yeah. Or people okay. fighting with septic systems and uh, digging up and bad plumbing and. It runs out on the streets in Lawrence, and Henderson doesn't have a problem because they just drill down through. So, but what's your other number three? Roads. Roads was the last type of for three. What's so weak about the road system? Roadway systems. Somebody didn't like. Uh, road infrastructure and snow removal. And what? Snow removal. Systems, infrastructure, and snow removal. Some of those plans just that really bad. Snow. But the odd thing is, some, some, of, some of that could be on state roads, even the snow yeah. removal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> that was your last one? Really good. Yes. Okay, so our weaknesses are development, perception, management, and leadership, water and sewer, and roads. Any other weaknesses? Then let's go on to opportunities. What do you got, Dan? Okay, uh, the first one with five is really related to uh, business development. We have, you know, like opportunities with South Point businesses, uh, oil and gas headquarters. Other businesses that, that could develop in and around the township, the opportunity for more retail and other other opportunities that would, as the township continues to grow, the businesses could continue to grow. Uh, another one that says businesses to Cecil and uh, plastics manufacturing. I would think coming out of the, the cracker plant. That's all under business development? Yeah, business development. And that how many? I had five. Okay. The next one would be anything related to the, the beltway. I had four. Just in general, the beltway itself is going to provide an opportunity to you know, get people here, businesses here, anything can, can benefit from the result of a toll road. Increased access, new businesses. Yeah, availability to move people in and out of the township. I mean, you're going to have, you're going to be, what, 15 minutes to the airport? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. The back way thing. It'll be 18 took minutes me. to go on my cruise. 18. Okay, that was for. And the kids land. Can leave my house. Other people land from other areas. Natural resources uh, with with three, um, and this is sort of it's sort of related to. I, I'm, I'm going to say there's actually four of those because I consider, well, let's start out with the, the main ones, uh, is, is oil and gas development, development of the natural resources. Okay. And there's really, uh, there's really not been much in the way of that done here in the township, just a couple wells, so it, it, it's still an opportunity. Uh, and then I, I put down the streams. Uh, we have Miller's Run, which is a trout stream through the community, so it's it's an opportunity. Uh, Brush Run, even though it's in and out of Cecil Township, is along the 980 corridor. is a beautiful stream, so 
That's the valleys, the valleys. Watersheds. Yeah, the valleys, the watersheds. And we have okay. so many different watersheds. We're unique that way, too. Right. Um, coming in with uh, number two on opportunities are additional housing developments. And then out of that, I mean, it really comes down to the size of lots, you know, that, that need to be thought about. New neighbors with bigger lots preserving more acreage while still developing. So I think the, the you know, look at this, the size of lot is important to think about. You know, what type of community you want to be. A lot of the current housing developments are going PRD just because it's easiest way to go, John. Okay. So everybody comes in, first thing they do is rezone to R2, so and then they want to do a PRD. Okay. The only advantage to the PRD, and I've just been through so many of these, is... Can you, can you tell people who don't know what that is? What a that PRD is. is a planned residential development where you can dedicate open space, keep your density to the, to the same level as like it would be in R2 uh, by preserving open space but making smaller lots. So it, it, it preserves, it, it does two things. It, it preserves, it doesn't make as much infrastructure that needs to be maintained in the future. People can have a little bit smaller lots, a little bit closer communities, and the benefit is you get open space. The nice thing about those is that it, it, they're conditional uses, so the township can impose reasonable conditions on PRDs. So we've used the PRDs like to improve Anger Road, put a traffic light in related to a development over the Overlook development. The McConnell Farms development is going to have several improvements that were negotiated as a part of that development. So, but I, I, I don't know if that's the right approach going in the future, that you're always bargaining to get your improvements done. Uh, you know, traffic and how traffic is going to be addressed in, in the future with development, I think, is a key issue. Okay. So I got off a little bit off track, but I mean, that no, was good. opportunities for additional development. And then uh, the other opportunities are a senior citizen uh, high rise or something senior citizen related. We are headed for our first over 55 community in the township, not at least named that way, because Traditions of America is coming hard <coughs> on about 300 units. How many votes in senior high rise uh, just, just two. I mean, it, it sort of comes into like um, additional development. I group these into two: uh, a community center, uh, rec rooms, and a pool. Just like naming things that we really don't have in the township. Okay. I was the senior citizen high rise, and now I know we're going to have some senior citizen apartments. Yeah, people want to stay budget, in the community. But uh, I'm talking houses. the lower income. Yeah. Yeah. houses, not yeah. Yeah. The, the uh, tradition is going to be housed. Yeah, but that Cecil Elementary School is apartments. Yeah. Is that what it's going to be, apartments? As for seniors. Well, it's nice because like a lot of the places that are, they're putting in are these three hundred thousand dollar houses and right. not like single yeah. floor homes. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what they did in McDonald with yeah. uh, the school last time. They made it have more homes. Maybe upgrading the school too, it's different places. But I'm talking about no, like government help. To Right. Where somebody could right. have like, a so security. We don't right. have anything. Oh.